Okay, I almost forgot I had to do this video. But that's okay because I wouldn't have done it till now anyway. Not to be offensive or anything, I was just had a really busy day. Um, I had to get up at 7 to check on our fruit flies. And this project is just getting way too complicated. I hate this lab, I really want to drop it. I was just, I was talking to like two separate people about it today. It's like, we're talking, they both brought up the fact that it's only one credit, but we spend like more time in this lab than we do in like really hard classes like calculus and stuff. Um, this lab sucks. I have to work on it over spring break and the fact that I'm going away for like just seriously three days for Boston or whatever means that the whole thing is probably going to get messed up. So I'm going to have to talk to my professor about it. And I have to get up early tomorrow and go check on them again, which is fine. I kind of like the getting up early thing because, um, like, it'll give me some time in the morning to, like, do some work. Because once you start classes, you kind of just have to keep going to classes. But <clears throat> the downside, of course, is that you can't stay up as late and I don't get as much sleep. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. I would have done this video earlier, but I just had to email a draft of my um, comparative literature paper to my professor. She, it's, I think it's really cool that she lets us do that. She'll, she'll, the official deadline is this Friday, but um, if we get her the draft by like tomorrow, honestly, then she'll extend the deadline for you to like next week. And my friend even got like an extension beyond that because she's going away for spring break. So she's a really good professor. I, I met with her today and we talked about literature a little bit. She said I'm really good at writing about literature, and it made me feel really good that I wasn't just like Calaveras High School and thought I was good. <laughs> um, uh, oh damn, a lot of stuff happened today. I got a super rare Pokemon. I had to run all over town. Um, to try to find adequate Wi Fi. I finally found it at this place called the Haymarket Cafe. It's like this weird cafe that's decorated with like weird crap and plays like cool music all the time. It's full of hipsters. And by the way, I saw my comparative literature professor down there and I told my friend and she was like, she would eat there. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a level 100 Sekrom and I'm the only person in this group who knows what I'm talking about right now. So I'm just gonna stop and but say that it's like a really rare requirement and I'm at this point in the game where you only have to be at like level 40 and um, so I'm pretty much gonna like win the game really easily the next time I play it. Uh, mm. Drinking this Mountain Dew because I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> it's like a pun. And um, I mean this is the most highly caffeinated thing in my house is vending machine so I've been drinking a lot of these lately. Uh, I figure it's good because this is what World of Warcraft players like uh, drink to uh, drink before their games. I think it's funny when you're like advertising a sports drink, you're like, "Drink this. This is what athletes drink before the big game." And for me, I'm like, "Drink this. This is what World of Warcraft players drink before the big game." Um, I figure it must be pretty effective because those people really stay up pretty damn late. Um, hmm. uh, I. Um, what else did I do today? Took a couple of naps, just took a lot of my time. I packed for, to go to Boston tomorrow. I'm gonna stay with my friend Emily, who goes to Emerson College. Uh, I'm gonna stay in her apartment for three days. Um, yeah, leaving, getting there tomorrow and leaving on uh, Monday morning. Um, I uh, had the last day of my RADS class, which is Rape Aggression Defense. And we went through, it's like the self-defense thing we have to do in health and wellness, but like honestly way better. Um, if any of you, I know a couple, couple of you took health and wellness, like Taylor, Campbell and Melissa, maybe Taylor McTeer, I'm not sure. Um, but, um, yeah, so we had to go through simulation, which is where like two of the teachers um, get in these big padded suits and attack you. And I was just like really awkward up there, like the way I talked, I didn't. I was like so nervous from people watching me that I didn't really know what to say. So I said like weird things, but um, I did really well in like fending them off. Um, like I thought I was standing up straight, but afterwards they like show us the video to increase our self-esteem or whatever. And um, I was like in my defensive stance the whole time and everybody said it, or not everybody, but like one person said I looked really fierce. And 
the first one you have to pretend to be at an ATM and they grab you from behind and the second one you close your eyes, they yell at you and you yell back and then when they touch you you open your eyes and all I could think of to yell back was like fuck you over and over um, because I was like nervous again from stage fright and from the fact that my teacher was about to attack me but <laughs> everybody was like laughing about it afterwards I was I like swore the most out of everybody <laughs> it's all I can think of when I'm scared uh, I'm not a good actress, I wouldn't be a good actress at all um, I'm not a good improv actress at least, or just not a good actress in general um, but I did really well, I used my I, uh, he pulled me down to the ground and <laughs> everybody laughed when they were watching the video because after I got up I like stomped on him and I kicked him in the crotch at least a couple of times and it <laughs> kind of went down, it was funny um, let's see I oh and then after that I went on like a third date with um, like this girl from my school uh, she's really nice, I had a really good time um, just talking with her at Starbucks, we both had to go home early for things like she, we both have homework it's if you haven't picked up on it it's midterms week and i've only slept a total of eight hours in the last two days um so that was about a summary of my whole day i'm really pumped to go to boston and i'm really glad i got a week off even though i have to keep checking on the stupid fruit flies it'll be like seriously like one one hundredth of the work i usually have to do um I have homework house next week, but that'll be like interesting to do homework house when I don't have school. And um, I found out that homework house ends on April 2nd, which is kind of a blessing because it means I'll have all this free time, but it's kind of a curse too because, um, you know, like the money. And I only have four hours of dining hall work, which isn't which is like $36 a week, it's not that much. So I'm going to look on my school's job thing and see if I can find something else to replace it. And and now that my rad class is over, I'm gonna have like heck of more free time on Thursday, so I hope my life isn't like as chaotic and insane um, from here on out. Anyway, uh, talk to you guys later. Bye bye.